Hello, Mark here. This tutorial we will cover the Junior Dragster Rage Dual Stage Primary Clutch. We could call this a Rage 6 for the fact that we've got three cam arms in the first stage and three cam arms in the second stage. So these, these little guys here, these cam arms, swing out the spider or refer to as first stage cam arms, you can see that, that swing against the roller or the spider, we'll call that, see that cam arm, we'll call that the second stage, okay, conventional cam arm, same thing. Okay, first of all, let's take this guy apart, just look at it piece by piece here, this is a screen cover. We'll remove that guy. This, this is the retaining post for the spider. We will remove that. Um, to remove the spider from this movable shiv, you have to remove the first stage cam arms. I've got a, a spider disassembled here so you, you can see what we're working with here. Um, see the rollers, the cam arms as well for the second stage. This is a quick change design. These two, these two assemblies will separate from the fixed post and are engaged by a hex. You see that hex hole through that spider and we have a hex here in a post. Okay. Now let's put this back together. spring fits right on top of the old spider and uh, this this is this clutch has been designed around ATV player springs so a lot of a big wide variety of springs to choose from and we will stock them here as well and of course to assemble you've got to compress this and bolt the socket cap screws to the movable shift but to save time this video I'm not going to do that here okay most time it's, it's to use a press or maybe a couple hands to press this together and, and get the hole started. Try not to cross thread the screws. Okay, moving on. Okay, we're gonna sh we will ship this clutch to you with uh, a shim setup that we feel is proper. I'm, there may be situations where you decide to shim it um, to your liking, um, more spider shim. Maybe you want more belt clearance. For the most part, um, we like to see a, approximately a mil to mil and a half of belt clearance, say, say thirty to sixty thousandths in the you know, SAE terms. Uh, the way we do that, so I've got another clutch here, taken apart, is we supply you with some belt shims. Okay, uh, these are thirty thousandths increments. Those fit. They fit right here on top of the hex. They're just a little bit smaller than the main shaft that this movable ship slides up and down on. And this movable ship has to slide over those washers, see? Now, that controls your belt clearance. Don't get, don't get confused over spider washers, which are larger diameter. They have nothing to do with belt clearance. Nada. Okay? The large washers, these are the spider washers. What those do is those create oops. Those create a gap between the roller and the second stage cam arm, okay? That's what that controls. If I want I want to space this farther apart, say like yay so what that does that lowers my engagement, that makes the cam arm hit harder when it first takes off. Um, if I want less spider shim, that increases my engagement and it causes the cam arm not to hit as hard at initial engagement. Um, what's nice about having the first stage arms is this overcomes any inefficiencies that are done down here. So we can increase weight on these little guys to make up for some of this. So 
Um, it's all by your preference. We'll, we'll send you the clutch. What we'd like to see is there's a notch in these arms. We'd like to see at engagement point where, where we are, like say idle, this clutch is sitting just in the position it is in my hand. We like to see that roller engaged inside that notch completely. So that's the way we send the clutch to you. You want to change that? It's up to you. But those large washers have to fit between the movable shiv and the spider, okay? All right. Well. Nice little handy tool with this clutch is uh, this is the main cam arm. Is if you can see, being black, it's pretty hard to, to see, but it has these little areas. There's there's three of them, okay? They're recessed for washers to add different weight to these arms. You can see the same on this side, okay? So there's six places, three on this side, three on the other side, to add mass to this arm, okay? This particular arm starts out at 24 grams. We can add 14 grams of, of weight to this arm. And the way we do that is included in the kit, you'll get one of these Torx wrenches. You'll get an assortment of washers, O-rings, and screws. Okay. We use Torx screws. We take these washers and we add them to the side of the arm. They fall right down the side there, see? Okay, we can add up to four per station, okay? In this particular case, we're going to add just four. big fingers and I got little parts here. Hang with me. So I like to lay them in there. Lay the cam arm down. Take the screw, insert it on the end of the wrench, the little Torx wrench. I like just to kind of hold on the side of my finger and then install it inside the arm. Let's see if I can show you that, of course. Very simple to do. That's it. I just added two grams of weight to that arm, okay? Really nice, easy way to adjust. And we like to see most of the weight on the back side of the arm, okay? Putting a lot of weight in the tip just creates problems. And if you uh, referred to the Super Tips video, um, the reason for that is explained in that video, okay? The Super Tips 101. We won't get into that too too much here, but uh, that's that's one great feature of this clutch is the uh, gobs of adjustment you have, okay? Now another, of course that we just we just went over how to adjust the second stage cam arms. Now the first stage cam arms are these little black guys here. We can add mass to them as well. We have washers in the kit. They're a little bit larger. They lay up on top of that boss. There's a little boss there. And you can, of course, add the torque screw to the washer. Fasten it like so. Okay. Now you see that that's, that's wiggling around a little bit. Well, what we do supply is we supply you O-rings, little rubber O-rings that fit underneath those washers to stop them from vibrating loose. And that is all discussed in the instructions. So, uh, real quick, I'll show you. O-ring goes. Actually, it's easier to put the O-ring around the boss of the arm. See. Slide the screw through the washer. That's the way I do it. It's the easiest possible way. Let's try that again. Big fingers, little parts, no fun. Wow. 
find a hole. This can be done while the clutch is assembled and on the car. Okay. And now what that O-ring does is stops that, that piece from vibrating around. Okay. Just keep in mind that every arm has to weigh the same. So if you put one washer here, you need to put one washer on the other two arms as well. Okay. Or your clutch will go out of balance. The same that goes that holds true for the second stage arms as well. Uh, all arms need to weigh exactly the same. I would suggest purchasing a gram scale. We sell them here at Supreme Tool for $15 and we calibrate them as well. Very simple tool, fits right in your pocket. Um, must have if you already don't have a gram scale. It's important to keep your cam arms all the same weight as close as possible.